Alrighty guys, so you know the drill. What you saw at the beginning of my video is what we're going to be making. The maxi midi dress is what I'm going to call this dress because I don't know the actual name for it. Um, I'm sure it's somewhere along those lines just because it is a maxi dress mid-length. So I'm just going to stick with that name. <laughs> um, I've seen this dress on Instagram uh, paired with Converse like I have them in the video. Um, some people pair it with heels, wedges, just I guess depending on the occasion. Uh, my Most of my occasions are probably going to be chilling with my family. Um, so I got to keep my <laughs> Converse on when I'm wearing this dress. Uh, I probably won't ever wear this dress with heels just because I don't think it's that type of dress. But people make it work. I'm going to make it work with Converse. So if you want to figure out how to get your own maxi midi dress, then just keep watching. All right, so you wanna start off with some fabric. This fabric is, I think, the ring spun cotton. I've already got my um, pattern here that I wanna use. And of course, I did use my measurements to get this pattern that I want. It's two inches for the shoulder, uh, to, for the so shoulders. And then, of course, as you see here, um, it's about nine inches all the way around the arm armhole and then however long you need your torso to be um how you want your um how how fitted you want your dress to be so use your own measurements and of course you will be happy with the result <laughs> with the results okay so once you get your measurements down um what i did here is i just pinned down my fabric for when I'm getting ready to cut it so it doesn't move out of place. So that way I have the same, um, e the sides are gonna be both even. Um, also, I took my length measurements of how long I wanted my dress to be. The, long the length of my dress is 39 inches from shoulder to about um, a little bit above my knee. After you're done getting your measurements and your length, go ahead and tr um, cut out your pattern. And just be careful. Um, I did cut along the line because I know that I did give myself some seam allowance. So make sure that you do leave yourself at least an inch or inch and a half of seam allowance. Um, that you know that you'll be um, that when you sew, uh, it will not take away from the length that you actually need or the measurements that you actually need. And I'm just tracing my line a little bit um, a little bit more so I know where to sew. Once you are done cutting out your dress, this is actually the front piece of your dress, go ahead and look at it, make sure everything looks the way you want it to. And then of course, go ahead and toss it to the side. Well not toss, but <laughs> lay it to the side and go ahead and grab your extra fabric. We're gonna start on the back piece. Now that you have your other fabric, I have already, of course, marked my fabric. And same thing, same measurements. Um, I actually made a racer back for the back of my dress. So it's basically like you're making an X, a large, thick X. And now I'm just tracing it to make sure that I can see my lines, of course, and make sure that you guys can see my lines. And then I will be cutting out my fabric. Of course, I'm laying my front piece just to make sure I have everything matching up. And then once you have done that, go ahead and cut out your back piece. Okay, so once you're done cutting out your fabric, you're gonna lay both pieces side by side, and then you're gonna start with the top piece, your front piece of your dress, and then you're gonna lay that on top of your back piece. I like to line up the corners of my armholes first and start pinning there, and then I'll move up to my shoulder pieces, and then I'll pin the rest of the dress down. And don't forget, I do have a video showing you how to pin your fabric down. After you have pinned all your fabric down, 
make sure that you do a straight line stitch all the way down the sides, both sides of your dress. And of course, do not forget to hem. And this is what your hemline should look like. Once you're done with that, go ahead and move to your shoulders and do a straight line stitch both um, on both sides. Moving to the bottom of the dress, I'm going to start hemming there as well. Um, you want to just fold over how much you want to go up, how basically how long you want your dress to be. And I simply just folded my dress one time and then I went ahead and ironed down so I can have a straight um, stitch, a straight seam. Once you are done ironing, go ahead and start pinning down your fabric and you're gonna simply do a straight line stitch all the way around the bottom of the dress. And the bottom of your dress should look something like this. All right, so moving on to the top of the dress um, basically I'm simply I'm simply just pinning my fabric folding over my edges and pinning the fabric down and then of course you see me here just doing another straight line stitch it's very very simple guys I promise when you get to the collar um, the inside collar they're gonna do the same thing but when you get to your rounded edges you're gonna actually cut a little slit in between to make it easier to fold and it looks good when you start sewing it all right and then once you're done sewing it should look a little bit something like this and you guys are done Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed how to make your own maxi midi dress um, slash racer back dress which I didn't mention in the beginning of my video but I'm sure you guys saw at the intro part <laughs> where I was showing you with me with the dress on um, but it is also a racer back dress. If you have any DIY requests make sure that you comment below. Of course don't forget to thumbs up this video and share because sharing is caring. So don't forget to comment, like, and share, and of course subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. You'll get notifications whenever I post a video, and of course you'll get notifications from me anyways if you are following me on my Instagram. I notify you when my video has been, has went live, and yeah, so make sure you check out all my links below, and I'll see you on my next video.